timing can be everything. When my laptops were stolen on November 11th, 2020, a new friend who was helping me with the police report said, wow, it's almost unbelievable how calm you are. It's like you're handling this too well. I looked him square in the eye and said, compared to some of the ugliness I've seen in my life, this is nothing. I went on to say, I'm glad no one was hurt. It was decades before my memories came flooding back. Frantic birds into the glass banging at the windows to be heard, falling, stunned. But pieces of the puzzle wafted in over the years. My sheer terror of babies, my curling up on a bath mat on the floor when I was extremely upset, my blinding rage that would come out of nowhere. What was wrong with me? For so long, I could not understand. Truer, I could not yet remember. And in an instant, it all suddenly came flooding back and made nauseating sense. Timing. In March of 2013, out of the blue, a vicious attack hurled me back there. An unprovoked dog lunged to my full standing height to bite me in the face. But all the way to the ER, I was cracking jokes that had my driver laughing. I had to make sure to keep him calm for the sight of me. It's what some of us do. That shock was the spark that flashed in the dark corridors of my memory, illuminating the original hurt. Occluded memory, it's called. It's where my brain put a curtain over the truth for a while until it came to be the moment to sit me down and tell me. The smell though, the curtain could never mask that. And the hints crept through cracks in my consciousness, creating constellations of clues pointing me in the direction of the corpse behind it. There I was for years following my nose, a confused amnesiatic detective in my own life. The original offense happened before I learned to speak, but my body remembered all those years, waiting, all the fears I never understood, all of the hiding in pantries, closets, revolving clothing racks, under tables at restaurants, refusing to allow the woman any stranger would call my own mother into the dressing room with me at the mall. Her. I stayed silent a long time. I was dying in my own skin, living a lie and not a life. Silence was no longer an option. My soul was screaming, finally, I chose myself, I would tell. For seven months, I trained, prepared, focused. I said powerful prayers for the highest good of everyone involved, healing for all of us, even her. I never would have guessed I could ever have that kind of capacity. I knew though, that if healing was going to be real, it had to be with the door open to include everyone. Timing. The day. With the unforeseen COVID shutdowns, it got bumped up at the last minute from March 31st to March 17th, 2020. Seven years to the month from when my memory came back of the violent sexual abuse that began 38 years before that. Because of COVID-19, the meeting was virtual, a gift from the universe that I did not have to see her in person. They heard me out and I said to her face over Skype with my therapist and my father there that I would no longer be calling her mom and that she would not have permission to touch me again for any reason. 
I later learned that my uncle, who came forward to me years ago and shared that my mother had abused him when they were younger, had his birthday on March 17th. He never told me his birthday, or if he did, I hadn't remembered. What a gift of healing for me to have his continued support and for the cosmic moment of my telling to be chosen by forces greater than our powers combined. He said that my courage was a gift all its own. I'm not a survivor, but I used to be. My therapist calls me an inspiration straight to my face. I can even let that in now. I do believe her. So if not a survivor, then what? Well, for certain, I am a fire-breathing dragon with a warrior soft, strong heart. My fire burns away all it doesn't serve and warms and protects the hearts of those I love, who are many, my beloved chosen family, growing steadily and easily. Old stiff branches bearing new bright leaves heading into the depths of winter. It is never too late. Grow like mad with everything you have. Grow with gentle ferocity. Quiet, but not silent. Powerful, every day. Thank you. Thank you.